Hey guys, how's it going? I'm here with a 2010 uh, Toyota Camry LE. Going to do the rear brake pad and rotors. Got the, uh, you need a 14 millimeter to get to the bracket bolt here. And yeah, there's two bolts. Go ahead and take off this whole thing. And then they give you the uh, threaded part where you're going to put in two bolts and that this thing's going to pop out. It has to be at 6 o'clock and you're going to mess with the adjusting the parking brake. So guys, we're back. I got the uh, rotor off. Yep, just use the same method with the two bolts and that will, I wish I could tell you what size those bolts are, but they were in a mystery bin of bolts. So uh, don't really know. And uh, let's see. And then the star wheel is on the bottom here. And you can just do it by hand and bring these pads in so you can slide the new rotor on easier. And then you can just go through the hole and adjust it to where you need it. And yeah, and then we're going to take the pads off out of there. It's pretty simple, really. Actually, a little easier than the front. So, guys, I went ahead and uh, put the bracket back on with the 14 mil socket, tying it. I just undid with a 14 mil socket, the caliper part, kind of like I did on the front if you watch the front video. And we'll squeeze back in the piston, and then this way I can put the pads in and everything. The parking brake, there's this rubber plug, you transfer this over, you still have it. And that's your access port to the inside, to your your star adjustment for your parking brake and actually the easiest way was to adjust it by my hand just spin it around with this off and just test fit got it fairly snug then put a screwdriver in and just click it down and it should spin pretty freely you know because you don't want to drag and it's adjusted it's pretty straightforward but six o'clock position so straight down and then we'll put the pads in and got the caliper piston to push back in with a C-clamp. And yeah, it's pretty straightforward. The old pads, you can see that much life on that bad boy. And then this one still had some life. And there's the new pads. And you'll use some of this anti-seize high heat stuff. Just kind of put it around the piston and th that spot on the pad and that's basically it. And unfortunately it didn't come with any new hardware so try to clean those up a little bit. So the pads can slide freely in there. And yeah, that is it.